This beauty is the ER2 High Altitude Research Plane. It's NASA's science variant of the U-2 spy plane. Secret reconnaissance of Russia by high-flying American U-2 jets. NASA's using it to keep an eye on the Earth, the oceans and the atmosphere from as high as 70,000 feet. The view is beautiful. There's no weather. You see the curvature of the Earth as you scan the horizon. You can see, actually see the, uh, the shape of the Earth. Stu Bros is one of the NASA ER-2 pilots. We'll join him for a behind-the-scenes, all-access look as he prepares for a mission flying at the edge of space. That vantage makes the ER-2 the perfect tool for capturing data with greater detail than a satellite. It's been used to study hurricanes, cosmic dust and methane leaks. But flying this thing takes some very special gear and experience. The atmospheric pressure up there is about one half of a PSI or less. So the um, human body's not designed to function in, in those kind of pressures. That's what the suit is for. Every time Bros flies, he puts on a custom-made quarter of a million dollar flight right. suit. Basically, you're wearing the equivalent of a spacesuit. This is the type of thing it looks like an astronaut would wear. From what I understand, it's identical to the suits they used on the uh, space shuttle to and from orbit, with a couple minor changes where the valves are placed, and of course, they, theirs are orange, ours are yellow. Getting into the suit is no easy task. I have to dive into the, the upper part of the suit once I get the legs on. That's the part I dread. At ER2 altitudes, the incredibly low atmospheric pressure would boil an unprotected pilot's blood. So the suit is a must. In case I lose pressurization in the airplane, it'll capture me at a, the equivalent of 35,000 feet of altitude and keep enough pressure on my body where um, I'll stay alive. Bros also has to pre-breathe pure oxygen for a full hour before a flight. I like a balloon here. Then a team of support specialists drive him out to the airfield, help him into the cockpit and ready him to fly. Everything about the plane is kind of uh, hard to do. It's, it's, I call it the circus. Everything about the plane is unique. It's a bicycle aircraft that has wheels that fall off the under, from underneath the wings on takeoff and then we're done with them for the rest of the flight. So Bros gets some support from a second pilot on the ground and that's where this comes in. This is the ER2's chase car. Nice stabilizer fins. So we're about to watch you leave on a mission. We'll be chasing behind you in the official chase car for your aircraft, watching you take off. What's that experience like? The takeoff is wonderful. Very overpowered airplane, long wing, high aspect ratio wing. The car's quickly left behind as the ER2's jet engine and massive wings push it skyward. Every pilot's dream is to get airborne quick and climb at about 50 degree angle of climb initially today. The ER2 is made for long distance, long duration hauls. Bros has flown for as long as 13 hours, while the scientific instruments installed on the plane gather data, which means he basically has to eat and drink through a straw. It's uh, basically baby food, in a, <laughs> but with more flavor. And of course, enjoy the views. One time I actually saw the spherical shape of the Earth looking down at night at the layout of towns in the Sacramento Valley. I actually saw a curved surface. Up there, Bros, in his suit, is about as close to being an astronaut as anyone can come without formally leaving the Earth and heading to the International Space Station.